should have went to the club tonight, man. I probably would call Gore Top, Bradley Bill, see if they want to hit up Lux Lounge tonight. But oh my goodness, who's tweeting at me, man? Let's see. The Great Pager said. John Wall, throwback to when you got that extension. Skip Bayless thought you was wrong. Stephen A. Smith thought you was overpaid. Whoa, I got to see this real quick. <laughs> a throwback, man, he tripped. It's probably nothing. Now I got the extension, too. Let me sit down real quick and enjoy it. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? Fuck, I can't find a remote. Oh, uh, man, I probably have to get up and watch it. I'll just get up and watch it. There's no biggie, right? Take the Washington Wizards have agreed to a five year extension with point guard John Wall worth $80 million. Wall missed nearly half of the 2012 2013 season due to knee surgery. Skip, is he worth it? Stephen A. Smith, John Wall is not nearly worth the equivalent of a max contract. I've said this since John Wall was at Kentucky. He is very overrated to me as a pure point guard. Again, we are looking at a very talented, athletic two guard who's sort of having to play point guard. He is not a gifted distributor of the basketball. I don't think he's a great leader of a basketball team. I know John a little bit personally, and I like him personally. And I don't want to condemn the young man here on the, the big payday that, that I'm sure he would think that he deserves, and God bless him for that. But long term, I think that the Wizards committing this much money to this player as the face of their franchise will mire them in longer term mediocrity at best. I think you're completely wrong, Skip Bayless, for a multitude of reasons. Number one, uh, first of all, as far as I'm concerned, he owe, he's, he's, owe, he's owed $80 million for pain and suffering, being associated with the inept wizards over these last few years who've given him very little to nothing to absolutely work with, number one. Number two, you have to remember that he's been injured himself, and but when healthy, this dude is a speedster. He can get it done. He's got tremendous athleticism along with an upside. Number three, and more importantly, because Gilbert Arenas basically decimated that franchise by acting like the, like the clown that he acted like with having guns in the locker room and all of this other stuff. It's basically been an entirely rebuilding process. He hasn't had much around him to work with. You take all of those things into consideration, you have to look at his youth and the fact that the Wizards were in a position where they had no choice because you don't have anybody clamoring to come and play for you. You've got to hold on to the assets that you have until you can position yourself to do other things. You've got John Wall. You've got Bradley Beal. You've got Otto Porter Jr. out of Georgetown you just drafted. It's a very, very young team. The one guy with a shell of experience who has the talent to make a significant contribution in other places is the one guy that you have to hold on to. So I think he's overpaid, and I get your point. He may not have deserved $80 million on its face. But I'm saying if you're the wizard, you had to overpay to keep him because you don't have anybody clamoring to play for you. And John Wall can play. Let's be clear about he can that. Score. He is I'll no scrub. He's got an upside. He's got an upside. He really does. Do you love him as the quarterback of your offense? Based on what's available out there, yes, Skip. I'm saying he so can make things happen. It's a guard oriented game. It's, it's up tempo. Best you can do. What 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 it's the wizard. Yeah, that's the best you can do, but I'm saying that take all of that aside, I think he's worth 55 to 60 million based on his talent. Did they overpay him by about 20 million because they're the Wizards? Sure. It's just 20 million. No but big deal. <sighs> overpay, they said. I'm not a great leader, they said. I'm not a pure point guard. They said, you know what? I was going to go to the club today, but fuck it. I'm, I'm going to call my rookies when I get down there. We are going to the gym ASAP right now. I'm going to work on my game. I'm going to prove these guys wrong. I'm going to show them why. You know what? I don't even feel like driving a car, man. I don't even feel like going out on my car. Let me just go on my DC thug shit, my ATV. Man, let me calm down. Get ready for this workout session, this late night workout session. Let me put on this meek mill real quick to calm me down.
wow, this looks familiar. The practice gym where I practiced that. Well, back to the meat mill. <laughs> Skip and Stephen A said I was overrated. You know what? That's gonna fuel me. I already called these two rookies in here to go ahead and help me out. You know what? I think it's time for me to put in the work and show them what I'm about. I'm gonna put this on Instagram too while I'm at it. Pack my big guns in the bank rolls. We a busting nigga head and get the case closed. Oh. Niggas know we been thugging from the kick go. Oh, Niggas know we been thugging from the kick go. Two times I got a bank roll. Call my amigo, he got things in that Durant bow. Thug life, I never said I was an angel. I be fucking up the watches like I'm Tanko. Lizzy dang it, I'm the fucking honcho. I took your ass to Maddie and let you meet Pablo. Time is money, bitch, ain't got no time to argue. What's up, YouTube? It's Great Patriot back again with another my gym. This is episode four. You guys, these 20 likes on that again. I appreciate that. I didn't expect to get 20 likes that fast, so now I know you guys love it again. Another 20 like equals another episode. So yeah, my again, thanks for love. Appreciate that, and let's get it into Shaq and Ernie, y'all. All right. Presented by Sprite. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Thanks for being with us. Shaquille O'Neal joins me. Our matchup tonight taking place in Toronto, the Air Canada Center, as we watch the Raptors go up against the Washington Wizards. Taking a look at the Wizards, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. Hey Shaq, um, I'm Ernie, you know, look, look at my bow tie, but uh, John Wall just put out a video on Instagram in response to an old video on first take that Stephen A. and Skip Bayless did. How do you think he will act tonight? Well, Ernie, um, I think he's going to act pretty well. He sounded pretty, you know, heart, he said heartfelt in that Instagram video and the workout was magnificent. I think he should come out here, average, put it about 25 and 10. You know, if that was me, I would get a triple-double, you know. I just don't mean like the brag. Look at my uh, ball head, Kenny. Kenny, 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 where you at? I love you, Kenny. Where you at, Kenny? Look at my ball head. My ball head. My ball head. All right, guys, back to you. Oh yeah, Chuck, you fat. Ah, thank you, Shaq and Ernie. Thanks again. Oh uh, hey guys, hope you guys like that little thing. John Wall's coming out here from the Instagram video. He's throwing it down. He's gonna show Stephen A. and Skip Bayless. Don't ever make those comments again. Even though it was two years old, even though it was two years ago, he still took offense at it. So you see John Wall out here bringing it on defense. So he's going to swing the ball around Chris Middleton, missing that shot. If you guys want to see another GTA skit, I got ideas popping out of my head. So I'm just, you know, ready to do the GTA skit. So it could take a while, but you know, hey, again, you guys know the rules. 20 likes, and it goes to the next video. So right here. 42, we're down 42, I say, so you know what, we gotta get the sniper, and every time Bradley Bill gets a green release, you know what I'm gonna play, guess what guys I'm gonna play, he gonna get that green release, and it's gonna be that, color money, ha, <laughs> my boy Bill got that color money, that's what we gonna do every time Bradley Bill hits that three, you gonna hear that applause, color money, that's what security should've heard, and right there, speaking of color money, right there, look at that perfect release, bottom rookie Carl Anthony Towns, reviewing in my last game, I realized he has to get more involved on the defensive end and on the offensive end, so look at him grabbing the rebounds, John Wall gives it up to John Smith, Smith gives it back to Wall, and look at Wall being aggressive, he's sick, you know what, I'm scoring, I'm taking over this game, and then he thought it to himself, he said, you know what, they said I gotta pass the ball, they said I'm not a pure point guard they said so i'm overpaid they said look at wall going to the basket getting that shit blocked why if you pass that wall but look at russell kicking it out to bradley bill four three put the three points on the level bradley bill's our sniper out here but look 21 seconds left in the first quarter right I'm making my adjustments for the second quarter, you know, for the beginning of the second quarter. Right there, look at John Wall. Plucks him. Give me those cookies. And we got the flash out. And look at click, clack. That's your Kodak moment again. Brought to you by the Washington Wizards and John Wall. Check out the replay. That was in a dunk contest. I'll get that dunk about an 8 or a 9. Nice windmill finish with the left hand. 
head at the rim, so let's go. So now we got the benching, led by the rookie D'Angelo Russell. And look at D'Angelo Russell, he's going to look around, look around, look around. He's going to get a loose ball. He picks it up. Justin Anderson, 4-3. All right, you guys, I don't know what just happened, but my audio just kind of cut out somewhat, so if it sounds weird... Sorry about that, but I think I fixed it. So right here, we look at this great defense we're playing Towns again with a little bit of kickballs to D'Angelo Russell. Look at Anderson dribbling, dribbling. He's going to find D'Angelo. D'Angelo's going to find Middleton for the nice mid-range money. Pop that right there. So look at D'Angelo Russell. Ooh, he's trying to saute and fricassee his opponent, but nah, he can't do that. So look at, look at Grievous Vasquez going through the defense. Oh, my God. Oh, la, la, but he can't finish that. Quinn Akala Quinn gets the rebound. And look at D'Angelo Russell going to the lane. He's going to take it all away with the left hand finger roll. Right there, look at Kyle Lowry. We're trying to set the charge. I try to bait him. But hey, look at Kyle Lowry dribbling around. He's going to give it to Vasquez. The ball movement, he's going to give it to T-Rolls. And we both switch to Vasquez and Kyle Lowry. Gets that three-pointer to go. We're only up by six. And John Wall's like, give me the ball. Bring that ball over here. So look at John Wall sending up the offense. Pick and roll with DeAndre. You know that's a deadly combination. John Wall, but he gives it up to Chris Middleton. Four, three, three ball. Let's go. Look at the league leaders in blocks last season. DeAndre Jordan was second behind AD. That's what I like to see. That's why we got DeAndre here. He needs to make a more contributions effort on the defensive end. Look at John Wall throwing it up to Josh Smith. Jay Smooth. That's what we got you in free agency right there. Look at that nice impromptu out of bounds play. John Wall to Jay Smooth. Jay Smooth to John Wall. Yeah, I know. Tomato, tomato. So, right there, they're going to pull up on mid range. Misses that. This is the end of the second quarter. Look at Wall. Dribbling around. He noticed we have Quinn Cook in the game, so we have a shooter. Right here, John Wall. He's going to say, you know what? Let me get a quick pick and roll. Quinn Cook stay in that corner because they're going to they gonna get sucked in and pause if needed. Look at Quinn Cook. Four. I, I, I ain't going to say it. You got, you got to say it for me in the comment section. But right there, Quinn Cook out there. Passionate. Look at that great defense by DeAndre. No serve. Valencia Eunice. John Wall walking the ball up the court. They try to take a charge. Look at John Wall dribbling. Dribble. He said, like, you know what? I gotta get some ankles. Let me get some ankles real quick. Give me them ankles. Give me them ankles. And he going to the lane with a nice spin move, man. He is tenacious. He is bullying his way to the paint. So right here, they're going to give it a wall on the inbound. Look at John Wall passing it over there to Towns. And look at Towns. Should have been an and one. It's all good. Wall to Bradley Beal. And Bradley Beal misses a wide over three. Oh, my God. Our sniper's not out. And right there, they get a nice, easy layup by Kyle Lowry. We're only up seven. I mean, we have a good sizable lead, but... I'm not satisfied with that lead. You guys know me. So, John Wall with the pick and roll. He's going to do a flashy pass out to Chris Middleton. And again, I'm not going to say. I'm just going to look at the replay and just look at this like, John Wall is showing that he can pass first. Before, maybe he would have won this straight up. But, hey, he said, you know what, Skip? You know what, Stephen A? I'm going straight up. And they got to call a timeout. Look at Chris Middleton. Shh. Shushing the crowd. Thinking they was going to get a height. So, we're up by 12 at this point. Amir Johnson. Passes it over to DeRozan. DeRozan was giving us problems. And look at it. He just knocking people over. That should have been a block. So you know what? I'm mad now. I'm angry. And 2K always does this. They always have one that they're the best player on the opposing team gets bullshit shots. But it's okay. Look at John Wall going to the lane. Hard to the basket. Where's the and one rep? But you know what? I'm still kind of angry for that bullshit shot. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have DeAndre give it to John Wall. John Wall. John Wall, give it to John Wall, DeAndre. You guys hear the shot glizzy in the background. What's John Wall going to do? John Wall, what are you about to do? I'm going in my second bitch like John Wall. Oh, John Wall. Oh, oh, John Wall. Oh, I'm falling on you, nigga, like I'm John Wall. John Wall. Oh, John Wall. Oh, oh, I keep mixing pistols, call me John Wall. Oh, oh, all these niggas stallers, I'm a dad. Oh, John Wall, don't do it. Please don't do it right there again. Body and killing them, murdering them. John Wall out here. Showing them. And guys, always so shy Glizzy gonna be out here every time John Wall posterizes somebody. So, look at this right here. 
up by 12. Look at this, James Johnson. James Jones, whatever your name is. No, sir, you're not going to take that. That's a block. D'Angelo to Wall. Wall gives it over there to Justin Anderson. And Anderson for... I'm not even going to say the rest of it. <clears throat> But hey, look at look at uh, Grievous Vasquez right here. We fouled him. He makes both of the free throws. So it's in the fourth quarter. They are down by 11. They're trying to come back. We kind of been up this whole game. But he's like, you know, we got to go for the kill. Look at the answer. Though. Russell going for the kill. Who missed tape right there. And again, no foul. But we in Toronto. So I see how Drake going to do. I see Drake paid off these refs. And hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. That should be a flagrant, right? This, uh, all right, no, nah, no, nah, it's cool. It's cool. We want to get physical out here. You want to have this playoff basketball bet. I see Drake paid off these refs, you know. Drake not showing us any love. So, it's all good. John Wall here. You know, we got to get shot. Glizzy out here. Throw the dumper right there. But speaking of throwing down the dumper, Carl Anthony Towns throwing down the monster jam. Look at him right there. Last uh, game, he did a, uh, he had an oop and he laid it up. This time, he's just going to throw it down. I think John Wall got caught in Carl Anthony Towns' head. Maybe there's a skip for that. Maybe not. Please let me know in the description. And look at DeAndre Jordan on the hustle. Long arms, and he gets the steal. Look at Chris Middleton calling for it. And I said, ah, I saw you too late. But I said, you know, I'm going to give it to the man who got the steal, and he just misses that. Womp, womp. So Sometimes it happens, but hey, you know, I can't complain right there. T. Ross throws it down. We are we are only up by 11 again. Like, it seems like 11 points is like the margin where like they catch up and then we just, you know, stop them. So we're going to give it to Towns. Towns going to give it to Beal. Beal's going to give it to Middleton. You know, we're going to try pick and roll Middleton and DeAndre Jordan. We haven't really tried that. Let's see what's going to happen. And Jawa in the corner for three. Bang, 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 and that's pretty much going to seal the game. Under two minutes, you're down by 14. You ain't going to come back, but hey. With 20 seconds left, John Wall still doesn't fit, felt disrespected earlier, so I'm going to give it to Wall. I'm going to let him go. Showtime! All right, now we're doing a ooh alley youth right there. Look at John Wall windmill again, and that is going to end the game right there. We blew out this team, 74-56. Drake couldn't hold us. Drake too busy trying to pay off the rest, but look at the stats. Uh, we shot, I think that's 51 to 61 percent for 51 percent from the field. Look at the stats by the Rosa again. He did not miss 10 or 14, 20 points. But that's pretty much all he had. You know, T. Ross had six and five, but we pretty much shut down the team. Glow with 13 and two. Pretty much held our own, you guys. If you guys at all need a pause, they had Trey Lyles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Again, if you guys ever want to see these stats, you know, always just pause the video. But that'll be it for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. You guys know. 20 likes equals the next video. And I'm going to catch y'all later. And because uh, I got to go. So catch y'all next time. Peace. Niggas don't know they mother They like fuck religion Brothers killing brothers My cousin 12 years old And he a busher Fuck a confession nigga We ain't a shot I've been struggling for 19 years and running I don't think they understand Where I'm from Feel this, feel this, feel this, feel this Feel this, feel this way forever I'm the Jackson Cry. I apologize a trillion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson.